What's up guys and welcome back for episode 4 of Pokemon Sun and Moon Competitive Analysis. Today we're going to be doing Komoo, which I'm really really hyped as a Pokemon and to do the review on it. Just because when I first saw the leaks I was a little bit disappointed at the moves that it got and the stats were just mediocre in my opinion. But after I actually toyed around with the sets and ran some calcs I was really really hyped for it because this thing is going to be an absolute monster. I also want to take the time to go ahead and say thank you for all of you guys that have been showing support for this series. I really enjoyed doing it and having feedback makes me want to do it more so let's go ahead and look at the stats real quick now Komo is going to be the first dragon fighting type that we'll be able to play with and it's something that we've been wanting for a long time as far as typing goes and it also looks visually appealing as you guys saw with the intro with the Liu Kang turning into a dragon that's the very first thing I thought about when I first saw it I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan and I'm definitely going to be calling my Komo's Liu Kang anyway let's take a look at the stats it's got base 75 HP 110 attack 125 defense 100 special attack 105 spadef and 85 speed now this hp stat is not too great but it's not bad at all it definitely lets you take advantage of the base 125 defense and the base 105 special defense what these defense stats let it do is paired with this hp is live virtually any one hit from a non-stab super effective move for example it can live it can actually live a tough claws air lace from a mega aerodactyl it does 98 percent max without any investment so if you actually wanted to invest more bulk in it it would be really really nice that defense stat is just really awesome for letting a mon with even having base 110 attack set up dragon dances or whatever other setup moves it wants to do so it's got a lot of survivability doesn't get recovery but it's not really something you'd expect to have recovery anyway it's special attack stat is base 100 which isn't bad the only problem is it's special move pool leaves a lot to be desired with the only notable moves really being draco meteor and flamethrower but flamethrower will come into play in one of the sets i show you guys later so we'll get into that in a bit uh Spideth, like i said lets it eat at least one non-stab move move from anything that has super effective coverage not anything but just anything without an obscenely high special attack stat um and then we've got base 85 speed which is not bad it's the same speed as heracross but if you think about it if you scarf it or you get up one dragon if you're faster than virtually every pokemon uh that does not have a speed boosting item or has not set up with a speed boosting move so i really like its stats honestly um me being a hyper offense player if i was going to remake this pokemon it would have had like an obscenely high attack stat a uh, decent special attack stat and being really really fast and having a lot of setup what they did was actually probably a lot smarter and give it spread out defenses and having enough speed so after you boost it's very very fast still so let's go ahead and look at some sets Alright guys, so the first set that I came up with was a Choice Band set, and I really like Choice Band because it can capitalize on clinging skills, very high base power being 110, the only drawback being a lower defense after you use it, similar to Hyperspace Fury was with Hoopa. Sky Uppercut is not the strongest fighting move, but it's unfortunately the strongest fighting stab that Komo gets. Earthquake is just for coverage, and Poison Jab is to hit those pesky fairies, but the beauty of this is that Having soundproof means that Sylveon, to be able to hit it, would have to run Moonblast over Hyper Voice, meaning that the rest of your team is in not as much danger from Sylveon, uh, as well as having Floor just being a threat, but it actually takes Poison Jab much worse than Sylveon does, especially if it's not running a defensive set. So this is just a really nice set for wall breaking, uh, putting big holes in teams. Dragon is an offensive typing that isn't really resisted by much outside of Steel, and you pretty much have to create 50-50s for yourself defensively and offensively just because you've got fighting stab behind it so any steel types coming in will take uh, at least neutral damage if they have another typing and at most super effective stab damage with a choice man behind it so this is going to be really fun mon to play around with its biggest problem is still going to be fairies but it does get access to poison jabs so that definitely is able to offset it so it's going to be a pokemon where when it comes in the other your opponent is basically going to be forced to say okay what move is going to go for predicting something if they switch in on the wrong thing and get hit by clinging skills that's going to do a crap ton of damage they switch in on the sky uppercut trying to resist this dragon type move then they're going to take a crap ton of damage and if they're bringing a fairy thinking they can resist both stabs they get blown back by a poison jab and two hit ko so i really like this set uh it's not my favorite though i'll show you which one is my favorite because after i ran calcs i was absolutely blown away so let's go ahead and move on to the next set Alright guys, keep in mind that I don't think that this thing is going to be an OU just because it's speed tier and it's lack of immediate offensive presence even after dragon dancing it will still have switch ins uh it really struggles with fairy types as well as more bulky steel types so I'm really putting this thing in a UU kind of scenario in my head so that being said Seeing that this thing got belly drum instantly made me hype because I love sub belly drum chestnut and this thing is even faster than chestnut and stronger so it's going to actually be able to take a lot of advantage of this and it's going to be cool. 
if you get the substitute up in the belly drum you have a lot of bolt to hit, hit even after that happens similar to chestnut and clinging scales is an absolutely amazing stab to have whereas chestnut only had seed bomb and drain punch two relatively low base power moves to spam clinging scales will oko pretty much uh anything that doesn't resist it sky uppercut unfortunately will not be able to knock out fortress but every other pokemon in the tier of you use so far will be knocked out by anything that resists uh, clinging scales barring fairies and that being said, this is the only time this set will not work. To use this set, you would have to clear out every fairy on the field because even at plus six, um, you're not able to knock out defensive Sylveon. And Floor just has a chance to be knocked out if it's defensive after rocks, but it's not really in your favor. But that being said, if you get those fairies gone, this thing can absolutely wreak havoc, easy 6-0, and it has the bulk to easily be able to get off a belly drum and sub up. So this is probably going to be one of my favorite sets. And the best thing is, if you're able to stay behind a sub, you get soundproof, so you don't have to worry about anyone hitting you from behind unless they have like Infiltrator with Crobat. And I mean, that's viable, but you're faster than Crobat. After the Salak Berry pops, you're faster than Mega Aerodactyl. So you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. This set will absolutely demolish as long as you're able to get rid of those fairies. So I'm really looking forward to using this. If it does, in fact, get dropped down to UU, um, hopefully it won't. But if it does, then I'm going to have a crap ton of fun using this. So let's move on to the last set, which is my personal favorite. All right, this right here is my favorite set that I made. Running those calcs and seeing their numbers made me very, very happy. This is an awesome, awesome set. Having clinging scales being a base 110 dragon move coming from base 110 attack is absolutely amazing at plus two with a life orb this thing blows everything away that doesn't resist it sky cut blows everything away that does resist it and then flamethrower for fortress always brings fortress down to sturdy again having that base 100 special attack is really nice and this is where i said it would come in handy all you have to do is just bop it right after that sturdy goes down you do have to worry about gyro ball so it'd be really nice to have rock support with this kind of set Poison Jab will also help you be able to knock out Sylveon on Floridus. Again, Sylveon has to run Moonblast if it wants to hit you because you do have the Soundproof. And if it's not running Hyper Voice, then it's not as big of a threat for the other parts of your team. Uh, Poison Jab has a lot easier time taking down Floridus because it has uh, less bulk on the defensive side than Sylveon does. This is why I really, really, really like this set. It, it's just absolutely monstrous even if you're not able to get two dds up you're still punching huge holes and things dragon this is an awesome move it does get access to rock polish and autonomize but there's not really a reason to use those over dragon dance so if i'm able to use this in uu then i'm pretty sure it'll be probably one of the funnest mons i've ever gotten to use in the tier and this is also why i think it'll be banded bl just because this thing has such an easy time setting up because of its bulk and when it does set up it's an absolutely huge threat it's Pretty much like Salamence in my opinion. Um, it's going to be really hard to switch into and you don't have to worry about missing Iron Tails because you have Poison Jab and you have Flamethrower as well if you really want it. And having Fighting and Dragon coverage is absolutely amazing as opposed to only having Ground and Dragon as your main coverage for... And you don't have to lock yourself into Outrage like Salamence did. So again, I think this thing will be pushed to BL just like Salamence did. I don't think it'll thrive in OU. I think it will be an absolute monster in UU. And I cannot wait to get my hands on this thing. And it's actually going to be really fun to use in VGC which I really want to get into. I want to sit down and learn BGC just because I've kind of ignored it but just seeing how they kind of like bonked all of the sets in Sun and Moon so far and they made their own speed tiers with making everything slow um, it will actually be kind of interesting to learn a new place that would almost be like getting the entirely new game so let's go ahead and give Kamo its verdict it's got amazing bulk base 125 defense and base 105 spadef is absolutely amazing even coming off of base 75 hp it's still definitely usable its offensive typing is really really nice because steel is one of the dragon types biggest opponents and having fighting type stab on top of that is really nice it would be really nice not to have sky Africa be the strongest fighting stab it got but if you think about it if this thing got close combat or something or even hammer arm it would be absolutely ridiculous uh so sky uppercut is really disappointing but it could be a lot worse uh it gives lots of setup which is really nice having autonomized rock polish and dragon dance is pretty cool it even gets swords dance and bulk up so you can play around with that a lot these are just the three sets that i personally think are the coolest and most useful anyone can make any kind of sets they want of course I'm not saying these are the only viable ones Limited move pool means it, it has a usable special attack stat, but it only gets two real special attacking moves and its coverage as far as physical goes and its lack of powerful stab in the fighting type is just it's a little bit disappointing, but it definitely has what it needs to still be able to function really well. 
So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Whatever it lands in, it's going to be pretty nice. I really think it's going to be you for a little while and then get banned to Beal just like Salamence did. I'm really looking forward to using this thing, and I hope you guys are too. If you guys like this series, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate all the buzz that this is getting. I really like seeing support because it makes you want to do it more. So you guys will be seeing most likely one of the UBs in the next episode. So stick around and uh, find out more. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.